Hey y'all and welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you're new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome to this week's What's For Dinner video. I like to post these every single week in hopes to give y'all some meal ideas or some inspiration to cook at home for your family as well. I hope y'all Sunday is going lovely and I hope y'all's week coming up will be just as lovely as this Sunday. I wanted to say thank you all to everyone who reached out to me when I had the little scare with my son. We appreciate every single one of y'all and we love y'all so, 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 so very much. But I guess that's enough chit-chatting y'all. Let's get on into this week's What's For Dinner video. So up first is going to be Friday night and we were grilling on the grill that night. My husband grilled some ribs and some chicken and I made some baked beans on the stove. And he also grilled some squash mixed with onions. We seasoned those up with um, salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. And then we added a cube of butter on top and we rolled them in tin foil and we grilled those on the grill also. But as you can see right here, he's just seasoning up our squash and the, and the onions as well. He just put some salt and pepper on there. And then I'll add a little bit of garlic powder once I start rolling them in the tin foil because I'm going to be doing the assembly. So you see the squash, the onions, my butter, and I got some aluminum foil. So I just tear a little piece of that aluminum foil off. I'm going to put some of my squash on there and then a few little circles of onion on there because some of my kids don't care for onions, so I didn't want to put a whole lot. Then I'm going to add a cube of butter on there, and then we're going to roll that up and make sure that none of the drippings can come out. Make sure none of the drippings can come out of the side, and then we're going to set that aside, and we're just going to keep on assembling until we use up all of our squash and onions. If you're gonna leave me, then just do So y'all seen my husband in the kitchen before in past what's for dinner videos, but he always misses to share what kind of seasonings that he uses to season up whatever kind of meat he's seasoning. But today he's going to be seasoning up some chicken leg quarters and these are the seasonings that he's going to be using just in case anybody was wondering. I think I said enough. y'all he did season both sides of the chicken leg quarters and here he is placing them on our grill and we also have a slab of ribs up there and y'all i missed that i did not get to catch him seasoning that or putting that on the grill or anything so i'm sorry about that y'all he works fast and if i don't catch him i miss it but i did catch him doing the chicken so here you all go Dude. So now we're back in the kitchen and we're going to start making our baked beans. So I've just got these maple and bacon flavored baked beans from Piggly Wiggly. And I cut up one jalapeno right there and I'm going to dice it up in little dices now just to keep from my kids noticing that they're eating a jalapeno. I just got Then once I get all of these um, pieces of jalapeno cut up, I'm going to dump those in my pan and then I'm going to dump in my two cans of baked beans and I'm just going to cook those on low until it's all good and the jalapenos are soft and the baked beans are cooked and warmed up. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. Sort out all the lies, oh baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. And then we also grilled these chicken kebabs that I found at my local Piggly Wiggly. They're already seasoned and everything. They're sweet barbecue flavor, so we're just going to throw those up there. And he also added some of our own barbecue sauce to them. He also added barbecue sauce to the chicken leg quarters. Covered. Was gonna 
match up all the scars yeah. But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard all right, y'all, so here is my plate, and we'll do sneak in some hot dogs when I wasn't looking. So we've got some hot dogs in our baked beans, but I got my rib, and I got me a chicken leg quarter, and then I got my squash and some onions, and that was dinner for this night, y'all. Stay afloat, yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, yeah. going down, 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 yeah. yeah. And I thought, it's time I'm letting you go. This time I know it for sure. Just thought I should let you know. And then for the next night, we had some uh, shrimp pasta, and I kind of made this recipe my own. I was going by recipe, but I added some things to mine and switched up some things. But to start with, I'm just going to bring some penne pasta to a bowl. I'm going to add some garlic powder, some salt and pepper, and some Italian seasoning in there with the water and the noodles. going to bring that to a bowl until my noodles are good and soft. And then we're going to reserve some of that pasta water because you will be needing some of that in just a little while. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing under the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now So in my skillet I'm gonna melt some butter as well as some olive oil And that's what we're gonna cook our shrimp in I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy The recipe called for fresh garlic, but I'm just going to use some minced garlic and I added about a tablespoon in there and I'm going to stir that up and then we're going to cook the shrimp until they're good and pink looking. I before, you're going to reserve some of this pasta water and then you're just going to drain out the rest and you're going to add your pasta in your pan with your shrimp. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. And right here is where I noticed that I was going to need a bigger pan. This one was not big enough. So I'm going to dump it into a bigger pot. And we're going to add the rest of our noodles. And we're going to start adding in the rest of the ingredients that we need to make this shrimp pasta dinner. about a two tablespoon block of butter and now I'm going to add just a cap full of this lemon juice. And then I'm going to add in some red pepper flakes and some paprika and then that's where I kind of go south with my recipe and I start adding in stuff that I wanted to add in there because it just wasn't the flavor wise wasn't how I wanted it to be so I added in some stuff to make it how I wanted it so I'm going to add in I guess I also added in some garlic powder. There you go. I'm just adding all kind of seasoning. Y'all know I like all kind of seasoning. So I was just dumping some seasonings in there because it was just bland. So then I get the idea that I'm going to add some Velveeta cheese. Well, I guess not Velveeta cheese, but the great value Velveeta cheese. I'm just going to add in a bunch of blocks of cheese until I think I've got enough. And then I'm going to mix that up and let that melt down. And then here is my bowl once it was all plated up together, y'all. And I just sprinkled on a little bit more paprika and some black pepper. And y'all, this was so delicious. My kids tore it up and my husband said, you can cook this anytime you feel like cooking it because sometimes he don't like the stuff that I want to try. But I'm glad I gave this a try and it was so good, y'all. Then on the next night, we did like Chick-fil-A at home. And this was actually the night that my son started getting sick. So I just popped some of these... Um, like Chick-fil-A chicken bites in the oven. When they were done, I served them with some Chick-fil-A dipping sauce. My husband also had some mini corn dogs because that's what he wanted. He didn't want any of the chicken Chick-fil-A bites. He's weird like that, y'all. But here it was once it was all done. 
And then for the final night this week that I'm going to be sharing with y'all, it was some steak tacos. And I was walking through Walmart just looking at the kind of meats because usually I don't look at the meats at Walmart. I'll get my meats from Pickle Wiggly. But I seen this steak taco meat and I was like, I'm going to give that a try. So I cut up a red and green bell pepper. I'm adding some olive oil to my pan. And then I'm going to get my meat and I'm going to add that in there. And we're going to season that meat up. And then I'll add in my bell peppers. So for here is the meat in case you were wondering it's carne piccata i was kind of iffy about saying it because i know i probably didn't say it right but y'all seen what it looked like so i'm just going to dump that in the pan with the olive oil and then we're going to get that cooked down and once it gets almost cooked down i'll add in my bell peppers i add lots of seasoning so i'm adding in some taco seasoning i'm adding some paprika some garlic powder some tahini and a little bit of slap your mama even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different hope that y'all are following along because I know it's kind of hard to follow along because this is all coming out of my head but I'm adding some lime juice right here and then we'll add in our bell peppers next but I wanted to insert this little clip right here because Jackson was up there making fun of me and didn't know my camera was rolling while he's eating his donut y'all so I got a good old laugh out of that and I hope that y'all did too guess it never hit you a conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that greatness in all of your adventures you're all below all right y'all so now we're going to add the best part to me i love cheese y'all so i'm going to add a very generous amount of this queso white cheese that you can get from walmart i'm going to let that kind of melt down i wish i had a lid for my cast iron skillet pan but i don't so anyway it melted down just fine with no problem but would be a lot nicer if i did have a lid for it but here it is once it was all melted down y'all this was so delicious i cannot tell y'all enough how good this was i'm so glad that i seen that meat and it just hit me with a good idea of something to try because it turned out really good and i always like trying new things because i really get tired of eating the same old same old stuff y'all so that's why i I also enjoy making these what's for dinner videos because I'm sure y'all get lost of what to cook. I also made some of this cheesy Mexican rice from the old El Paso brand. And that was dinner for this night, y'all. With his humble lack and everlasting ego. Someone hurt your feelings not that long ago. And every bit of you couldn't face the truth. Thank y'all so much for watching this week's What's For Dinner video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I would love, love, love for you to join my YouTube family. Thank you all so very much for watching and I will catch you all in the very next video. Bye y'all.